Hey there, today I'm going to teach you how to draw Minnie Mouse. So we're going to start with the nose first. Okay, so she's got sort of an oval nose, so I'm going to draw her nose right in the middle of my page here, just like that. Okay, and then in the top part of that nose, I'm going to draw a little smaller oval with a highlight, just like that. And then I'm going to color in the rest black, just like so. Okay. And then if you're using a black marker, you can always go and just kind of clean it up a little bit. All right. And then just above the nose slightly is the, the wrinkle below the eyes. So I'm just going to draw a curve just like that. Okay. And the eyes will sit in just tucked in behind that. Okay. So let's start with the right side eye. So I'm going to draw an oval. I'm starting at the line, coming up, and then back down, and then touching the line. Okay. I'm going to go to the other side, and I'm just going to use my fingers to just sort of measure out the height of the eye. So I just want it to be the same height. Just going to come up from the line and back down again, just like so. And then within the eyes, I've got the little pupil. So again, I'm going to draw a smaller version of this oval inside on the left, on the right side here. So it's looking at you. And I'll draw another one here. Okay. And then on the top left corner, I'm going to draw smaller circles for the highlight. Then I'll color in the eyes black. Just like so. Alright. And then she's got some nice long eyelashes. So on the left eye here, I'll start at the top one. So in the middle of that oval, I'm just going to draw a curve, kind of like that. And then just below that, I'll draw another one. And then a third one, just like so. I'll go to the other eye, I'll do the exact same thing, so one, two, three, all right? So we got the eyes, we got the nose, now let's get into the mouth, okay? So she's got a curved, smiley mouth, so I'm going to start up by the nose here, I'm going to come down, and then I'm going to come up, just aiming towards that eye, but I'll stop right about here, and on either side of the mouth, I'm going to draw these little small lines, just like that. Okay, And then below the mouth, in the center, sort of on, off to the right, I'm going to draw the bottom lip. So let's go in, starting at the line, come down, going straight back into that mouth. Okay, And then let's put a tongue. So starting over here, I'm going to draw a little curve that kind of comes in like that. All right. So it's not touching the bottom. I'm going to come back up a little bit, and I'm going to do an overlap. Same line. Okay, and in the back here, I'm going to paint it in, or I'm going to color it in black. Okay, now underneath this mouth, the uh, bottom of the mouth, she's got like her bottom lip, so I'm going to draw an even line of same distance from that line. So starting about here, I'm going to draw the bottom lip, just like that. Okay, it's not, it doesn't have to go all the way up to the mouth. Okay, okay now that I have that, I'm going to start up where this... So the eye line is here, and I come around the cheeks, and I'll come into that lip line, just like that. Okay, so there's a little bit of overlap, right? I'm going to kind of look over here, and I want to do the other side as well. So I'll start up here, come around, and into that lip line, just like that. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to work my way up the head. So I'm going to imagine, she's got a round head, so I'm going to imagine the big round circle here. Okay, but I don't want to color it all the way through because she's got this big ribbon up here. Okay, so let's just start the circle. So inside of that cheek, I'm just going to come up and stop just above the eye. Okay, so if I imagine this big circle coming around, it'll come down this way into that cheek just like that. Alright, now let's go into the ribbon. So if I imagine the center of her head, Right about here, I'm going to draw a very simple ribbon, all right? So let's start with an oval. So up here, I'm going to draw a big oval, just like that, okay? And then she's got these big bows on either side. So let's start with the one on the right. So here, I'm going to come in a little bit, draw a big curve like this, and come in, okay? Let's go to the bottom side here and do the exact same thing. Come around almost like a sideways 
heart shape and I'm going to overlap it just like that. Okay? In the middle of this, I'm going to draw a little curve. It comes in like that. Let's do something similar on the other side. So I'm going to start right about here, come up, and I'm going to come down. Okay? And then instead of having this bottom one overlap on top, this one's going to overlap on top of the bottom one. So let's go up a little bit here and do an overlap. Come in into that oval. And I'll draw a curve just like I did here. Okay? So now that we have that, I'm going to go in and finish the roundness of that head and on this side as well. Okay? And then from this point here, I'm going to come up into that ribbon just like that. Okay? I'm going to come up here and do a very similar thing as well. And these get colored in black. Okay? And the last thing that I need to do, well, almost the last thing, is put a point in between our eyes, just above, like that in the middle, and draw two curves that flare out. Okay? And the final thing are the two big ears. So she's got big round circles on either side. So I'm going to imagine a round circle in here. So let's go in, continue this behind the ribbon, and come down like that. And the other one would be somewhere around here. So let's imagine a big ear that kind of comes around like so. Okay, and we'll color those in black. And I think that's pretty much it. There we go. There's Minnie Mouse. Thanks for watching.